Hey guys, Jennifer here with Murrow Family Farm. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit the, that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you know the next time that we post a video. So today is gonna be a really interesting video. I had expected everything to go a certain way but things didn't quite turn out the way that I had expected it. So make sure you watch until the end and see what we had to do to get this thing off the truck. So I'm gonna have to go and pick up a big round bale of hay. We do get round bales. So as you can see, we're running low. That's all we have left. That'll probably last us for another day or two, maybe even three if we're lucky. Um, we do not have a tractor and we also do not have a trailer. So some of you may be wondering, well, how are you gonna pick up a 800 to 1,000 pound bale of hay. Well, it's actually not that hard. So the person that we get the bale of hay from is going to use his tractor and put hay in our truck and then we basically just roll it off the bed of the truck. And it works out really just fine. We will unload it here and we will roll it off to where it lands perfectly, pretty much right here, and then we flip it. So, sounds a little crazy, but like I said, it actually works out quite well. And that is what I'm gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna actually go pick it up, and then, but I've rolled it out of the truck before by myself, but it is extremely heavy and I don't really want to do that today. So I will have him do that when he gets home. And um, yeah, I'll get that on video for you guys. So if anybody else has a small farm, we'll show you how you can get things done with the large bales. And it's so much more economical. Um, we get our bales of hay for $30. So as you can tell, that's a pretty good deal compared, I think like the the little square bales, it looks like they go for about anywhere from um, seven to $15, I would say. I actually never purchased them, so I really don't know. So 800 pounds, 1,000 pounds for $30, we'll take it and we will figure out a way to make it happen. So this is the way that we have been doing it for the last, uh, year and a half or so almost two years and it's been working out quite well and nobody gets hurt nothing's been ruined so no let's get this done well there's been a change of plans my husband came home this we're heading right down the road it's very close to our house and we're gonna go grab the hay really quick
You want to go back more or no? No. So in order to do this, you definitely have to have um, a strap to strap it in or else you will most likely lose it. So you want to make sure you always strap it in. He puts a wedge of wood down on the bottom just to stop it from rolling just for extra protection. We didn't do that in the beginning, but it's definitely um, helpful to do that. Heavy? Heavy? <laughs> well, okay, so this roll is a bigger roll than we typically get. We normally get a four by five, and this one's a five by five. So it is a little bit heavier than what we typically get. He didn't um, charge us any extra or anything like that. He didn't even ask us if we wanted a bigger roll. He just gave us a bigger roll. So typically we don't need to do all this craziness with a wedge. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that today is the day that I was gonna... <laughs> yeah, that didn't work, huh? Just drop it. All right, so round two. This one's already cracking. I can hear it. Oh. It's not this challenging to um, roll it off the truck, but Today is a new day, so <laughs> uh, different experience for a different day. So this is just to prove to you guys that anything is possible. Man, this thing is huge. I mean, you wouldn't think that one foot makes that big of a difference, but it really does. Yeah. So this is not a safe way to have to do this. It's sliding, hold on. definitely not where we want it to be. This is not usually what happens. No, surprisingly not. <laughs> hey, why don't you, um, why don't we undo this rope right here? If you can. I thought that one Yeah, I thought the whole thing was going to come down too, honestly. Huh? I saw it come off and it was like, which way is it? No, it's coming this way. Let's go. Oh my 
goodness, so cute. Yeah. Ever since she lift all those 40 pound bags of, or 50 pound bags of whatever they were. That should be good right there, babe. Yeah, that. Oh, I see what you need to do. You need to flip it, right? Well, you're gonna need to flip it though. Don't you want to turn it more? Yeah, I know, but you're gonna be too close to the wall. Your angle is off. Aim it more towards the barn stalls on this side. Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, don't get roll. <laughs> don't get ran over. Not at all. How about getting your rope? Yeah, we'll just don't hit it too far. I don't think you can get up there. I can't too. Daddy, before you roll it over, I want to see if I can jump on this. Go, go. He said go. Nope. Ah. Oh, nope. Yep. All right, so he's just getting his truck and he's gonna push it a little bit to where we need it. Cause I don't know if you can see, but like right here, there's a slight dip. So. Get it cause it's a ramp? Oh yeah. not going to roll. He's going to slide it. This is scary. <laughs> it's a little intimidating. We never have this issue, do we? we found it. No, I didn't. It's not cheating. That's Careful. Don't break my bucket, please. There's stuff in there. I don't know if my lid's on good enough. Uh, Dang it. What are you doing? I'm helping you so you don't fall. You going, okay. up, or you going up or down? Okay. All right, so it took a little bit of manpower. I had to actually get in and help, which typically I don't. Not that I really helped a lot, but even looking at the way that it's sitting in here, typically we have a lot more walk room right here. This thing is a monster of a bale. So definitely no complaint we're grateful it's a lot of work now the kids get to have some fun and jump on it hey. <laughs> I can't even get on it you can't <laughs> even if you didn't have boots on you no she did not she ran and jumped on it 
It's nice having lights in this barn, huh? And moves, I move. No! Yeah, I'm good at this. Ugh. I, I don't think I'm allowed to. It's gonna be a big. Oh! I did it without the stool! You did it without the stool? Yeah, look, look, look. Wow! You're smart. No, like this. Like this. Yeah, I'm good. You got it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, use your muscles. He didn't want help. Alexa doesn't even get a boot. There he goes. Whoa. Oh, oh. Come on, come on. Do you have good arm strength? Come on, come on, pull, pull. There you go. You guys feel like king of the... Man, this reminds me of when I was your age and I lived in Connecticut. Actually, I had just moved to Florida, so just a little bit younger than you. Like, maybe six months younger than you. We used to have a giant rock. Uh-huh. Wait, stand, stand down here for a second. All right, so I'm t I was probably a, about as tall as you, and that giant rock was probably like up to the top of Zion's head or so. What? Right? So me, my sister, and our two best friends in Connecticut used to climb this rock, and whenever we got to the top of the rock, we would always say that we were on like king of the mountain, you know, well king of the rock, obviously. So you guys, that was just absolutely crazy last night. I definitely do not suggest that you get a five by five bale of hay. It is way too heavy, and unless you have a super sturdy structure that you can tie the bale up to like we did, we know that our barn is very sturdy the way that it's in the ground and stuff like that, so we weren't that concerned about it. But do not do this unless you know for sure that your structure that you're tying something to is extremely sturdy because you can take down your whole structure. So I don't suggest doing it like this with a big bale. Like I was saying though, this isn't the usual procedure for us. I mean, it's usually we get it loaded, we come home, we roll it off. He rolls it off by himself. He doesn't need my help for anything, not even to flip it. So a four by five bale is fine to do in a truck, but I do not suggest doing this with a five by five. So make sure you know the size of the bale that you're getting before you go and get it, unless you know for sure that you have a good rope. Um, and that's another thing, with pulling it with the truck with a rope, you can snap your rope, someone can get hurt. So it could be very, very dangerous. Um, as you saw, we had some tricky things that we had to work with, but we got the job done. Thankfully, all worked out well. But yeah, so that's it for today, guys. I greatly appreciate you watching this video. Like I said, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that little notification bell. Comment, like, share this with your friends and be blessed. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.